Can we uh, walk back to the the, the mathematical Olympiad? Yes, What's the scoring and format like? Uh, and also, what does it take to win? Mm. So the way it works is that each of the six students uh, do the problems, and there are six problems. All the problems are equally weighted, so each one's worth seven points. That means that your maximum score is six problems times seven points, which is the nice number of 42. <laughs> uh, and now, the way that they're scored, by the way, is there's partial credit. So the question is asking you, explain why this weird fact is true. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you explain why, you get seven points. If you make minor mistake, maybe you get six points. Mm -hmm. But if you don't succeed in explaining why, but you explain some other true fact, which is along the way of proving it, then you get partial credit. Mm -hmm. And and actually now this is tricky because how do you score such a thing? It's not like it was, the answer was 72 and you wrote 71 and it's mm -hmm. close, right? The answer is 72 and you wrote 36. Oh, but that's pretty close because you were, you know, you, that maybe you're just off by it. By the way, they're not numerical anyway, but I'm just giving some numerical analog to the way the scoring might work. They are all essays. And that's where I guess I have some role as well as some other people who help me in the US delegation for coaches. Uh, we actually debate with the country which is organizing it. Mm -hmm. The country which is organizing the Olympiad brings about 50 uh, people to help judge the written solutions. Mm -hmm. And you, you you schedule these half hour appointments where the delegation from one country sits down at a table like this. The opposite side is two or three people from the host country. Mm -hmm. And they're just looking over these exam papers saying, well, how many points is this worth based on some rubric that mm -hmm. has been designed? And this is a negotiation process where we're not we're not trying to bargain and get the best score we can. In fact, sometimes we go to this table and we will say, we think we want less than what you gave us. <laughs> this is how, the, this is how our, wow. this, these are our principles. If, yeah. if you give us too much, we say, no, you gave us too much. Wow. We, we do that. However, the reason why this is an interesting process is because if you can imagine every country which is participating has its own language. And so if you're trying to grade the Mongolian scripts and they're written in Mongolian, now, now you, <laughs> if you don't read Mongolian, which most people don't, yeah. then the, the coaches are explaining to you this is what the student has written. It's actually quite interesting process. So it's almost like a, like a jury. Yes. You, know, you have you have a, in the American legal system you have a jury that where they're deliberating, but unlike a jury, <laughs> there's the members of the jury that speak in different languages sometimes. <laughs> yes. That's fascinating. But uh, I mean, I'll, it's it's hard to know what to do because it's probably really really com competitive. But your sense is that ultimately people, like how do you prevent uh, manipulation here, right? Uh, well, we just hope that it's not happening. So, so we write in English, therefore everything that the US does, everyone can look at. So, so it's very hard <laughs> so for it's me. very hard for you to manipulate. <laughs> we, 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 we don't manipulate. Uh, we only hope that other people aren't. But at the same time, as you see, our philosophy was, we want to use this as a way to develop general talent. Yes. And although we do this for the six people who go to the International Math Olympiad, we really want that everyone at any touch at any stage of this process gets some skills that can help to contribute more later.